everyone. I'm Bing Wu, a master's student at Sun Yat-sen University. Today, I'd like to give a presentation about our paper, Mental Learning Helps Personalized Product Search. My presentation consists of four parts. Firstly, I will introduce the background of our work and then give a detailed introduction on our method. And I will illustrate some important experiments in our work. And at last, I will make a conclusion. Well, let's come to the first part. Our work focuses on the field of product search. Product search aims to recharge a rank list of products in response to a user's input query. I mean, if a user input a query to search some products, the search engine will return the list of products in a certain order. But you know, different user has different preference and interests. So the search results should be customized. For example, there are four users showed in the screen. We can see they focus on the games on different platforms, such as Mac OS, Windows OS, PlayStation, and Xbox. Even if they input the same query video games, the return the results should focus on different platform. And now more and more work study the problem of personalized product search. Different from product search, personalized product search aims to recharge a rank list of products, which is not only relevant to the user's input query, but also to meet user's preference underlying their search records. To provide personalized search service, the important thing is to infer users' preferences underlying their search records. But it's challenging because most users have few or even no such records in the real world, which will lead to the data hungry issue. The data hungry issue refers to that model can achieve excellent performance when data is abundant. But if the data is scarce, the model have a degraded performance or even cannot work. And why do users have few or even no such records in the real world? In practice, because of the limited library, many practical programs focus more on the online setting, where the data is arriving and available sequentially. If the user have few available such records, Inferring the preference will become a field sharing problem. Moreover, if, uh, if the user are new or interacts with the search engine after a long, line, uh, after a long time gap, the inference will become a zero sharing problem. To tackle this problem, the key ideas of our method is to learn how to infer it from other users' inference and then helped to enforce the current user's preference. It's also the key idea of mental learning, which aims to learn how to learn and then use this mental knowledge to tackle the field shot and zero shot learning problem. But there are two difficulties. The first one is that the global shared mental knowledge in mental learning is inappropriate to extract experience from different inference patterns. Yeah. The second one is that the data is not available all the time under the online settings, which is in conflict with mental learning. Therefore, we proposed a Bayesian online mental learning model for personalized product search, including a mixture of mental knowledge to extract experience from various inferring patterns and an online variational algorithm to update such meta knowledge under the online setting. Well, next, I will make a detailed introduction to our method. At the beginning of this part, I would like to show the problem definition. Given the query input by a user and his or her search records, the aims of the task is to conduct the probability which denotes that the user prefers to the product's i to i primes conditioned on the query and the search records. 
and then the products can be ordered by this probability. For the existing method, they aim to infer the distribution of preference conditioned on users' individual search records. But it's challenging if the user have, um, have um, if the user has fewer or even no such records. Therefore, in our method, we aim to learn the mental knowledge set from other users' inference, and then use this mental knowledge to help to infer the current user's preference. Not the screenshot the framework of our model. In the left part is the online update step. It aims to conduct the mixture mental knowledge from the sequentially arriving such records. And the right part is to provide personalized search service for users with the corresponding mental knowledge. Uh, next, I will introduce the shape key part of our model. How to conduct the mixture of mental knowledge how to online update the mental knowledge and how to provide personalized such services with the mental knowledge. For the mixture mental knowledge, each cluster is associated with an inference pattern and we conduct the belief of cluster assignment for each user. The belief is proportional to the likelihood of search records conditioned on this cluster of mental knowledge. Yeah. Okay. For online update, following the Bayesian online learning, the posterior of mental knowledge depends on the current likelihood and posterior at the, uh, at the last time. So we can update the mental knowledge in a recursive way. But how to extract the mental knowledge from the search records at the current time remains a problem, as the cluster assignment of user cannot be observed directly. To tackle this problem, we firstly compute the uh, expectation of the cluster assignment of user based on the current mental knowledge, and then maximize the likelihood based on the cluster assignment to update the mental knowledge. These two steps are alternative to operate until the convergence. Note that the posterior of mental knowledge theta and user preference phi are intractable. So we replace them with the variational distribution to approximate them. Following the hierarchical, be uh, for, uh, following the hierarchical Bayesian inference, we can get the uh, evidence lower bound and maximize it to get a variational distribution. As for the personalized search step, it consists of three steps, assignment steps, inference steps, and search, and search step. In the first step, we aim to determine the cluster of user. For users with few search records, we choose the cluster which makes the likelihood of um, users' individual search records maximized. For users with zero search records, we try to assign the cluster following the Chinese restaurant process, where the probability, uh, where the probability of the cluster assignment is proportion, uh, proportional to the number of the users having occupied this cluster. When the cluster of user mm, is determined, we can infer the user's preference from their search records with the help of mental knowledge. And at last, the personalized search service can be provided based on the preference and the input query. We also conduct the experiments on the publicly available Amazon dataset. The statistics of four chosen datasets are shown on the screen. Note that we divide users with zero search records as zero shot user, and divide users with less than five search records as few shot users. 
The overall performance of our model and the base lights are shown on the screen. The results illustrate that our model can achieve a better performance than the existing method. Moreover, we shot the performance on the field shot and zero shot users. From the table, we can see that our model um, alleviates the field shot and zero shot running problem. Well, to confront the uh, well to confront the effect of the mixture mental knowledge, we set the cluster of mental knowledge from one to four, and we can see from the results, the mixture mental knowledge helped to extract the experience from different inference pattern. Because of the time limitation, we only shot some important experiments. The other experiments can be seen in our paper. Finally, I'd like to make a conclusion on our paper. In our paper, we study the problem of personalized product search and alleviate the field shot and zero shot problem when inferring users' preferences. In our work, we propose a Bayesian online mental learning model to use the mental knowledge from corresponding cluster to help to infer users' preference so that we can provide personalized search service for users with few or even no search records to extract the mental knowledge from different inference pattern we conduct a mixture of mental knowledge which can transfer the corresponding experience according to the user's cluster moreover to update such a mixture of mental knowledge under the online setting we propose an online variational inference algorithm and we also conduct the experiment to, uh, on, the public, uh, on the publicly available data set to confront the, if, uh, to confront the effectiveness of our model. Well, and there are some works to do in the future. The first direction is to employ the attributes of user to determine the cluster of mental knowledge. And another direction is to assume that Users can be associated with multiple cluster instead of one single cluster. Okay, that's all. Thank you. And if you have any question or suggestion, please send the email to me.